What's up guys, welcome back to today's video. Tonight is night number five of the ISCS Week of Speed. So far we have three wins this week. I'm feeling really, really good going into tonight at the Grays Harbor Raceway in Elma, Washington. It's a very cool, breezy day here in Elma. Let's go check out the racetrack. Check out the Grace Harbor Raceway here in Elma, Washington. This place is a true 3 8 mile. They just put some new clay on it. If you guys watch some of my past videos here, I've shot three vlogs at Grace Harbor. The dirt looks so much different. It's just because they put some new clay. We're seeing how it does. I heard it was a little bit rough last time, really, really dusty, so we're hoping for a better result here with the ISCS Week of Speed. The two times here we were here in the Limited, we ran third on the podium, and then the last time we were here in a 360, we blew up. So we don't want to have anything like that happen. We're confident, though, in our skills here, and we already got a little bit of a solid notebook for our Limited. So qualifying is going to be key tonight to get it started, but before that, we have Mud Pack, and we're really just hoping to finish the week strong, stay consistent, and hopefully get a Speed Week title. Let's get into night number five. done with qualifying we were in the first group tracks pretty fast uh, it's starting to kind of go away just a little bit but it was just right around the bottom maybe a little bit above not sure where we ended up I think when I saw on the board we were second but I'm not sure you guys can't hold me to that one but uh car felt good I had just uh, I had some good laps just kind of had to move around a little bit so I'm gonna go watch the rest of the groups and try to learn we don't run on big tracks like this all the time so as much experience I can take in from watching and driving will help me as much as possible so we ended up second quick in our group, just like I thought in the last clip. Now, five minutes until we head out for heat races. I gotta get in, we're the first ones out for the, the three of the ISCS heats. So it's just time to get going and you ready, Carly? Yeah. Ready to go. Gotta try to advance as many spots as possible here on a tough track in Elma. This is kind of what our heat race looked like. 
We still went fifth to third, got into third, and then got a yellow. And I just jumped the gun a little too soon. But they almost like kind of, I don't know, it's more my fault. But they did feel like, I did feel like they kind of stopped a little bit. They slowed down right at the last second. I got, uh, just hit the back bumper of the car in front of me, broke the posts, and then the bumper, and it just really all just folded up. So, uh, gonna get this fixed. We really just need to find a little bit more overall speed, I think. Uh, I didn't feel like I was super, super fast, but also the track is in a, I not to criticize Grace Harbor, but it's in a horrible condition right now. I think it would be good if they do something to the top, but the bottom just has too much grip. So we're gonna see how it kind of cycles out. That was a really tough heat race. I'm glad I was able to get some cars off the start, but um, anyway, we just gotta go forward and hopefully now we gotta get a good pill draw if we make the redraw. I think we're in a good spot, but we just have to see. So we just did the pill draw and kind of frustrating. So there was still a one left when, and you guys know how rough our pill draw has been all year long. So this kid said he wanted to pull from me. I was like, all right, sweet. And he did a good job. Shout out to the kid. I actually don't remember exactly his name, but did a good job. Bennett, what did he pull initially? Well, I mean, I was standing right behind him videoing and I was like, holy cow, we just pulled the one and I just got hyped and looked at Tanner and then the slap of the wrist came out. They made him put it back because yeah, I guess I like, he grabbed two pills. But from our angle, I only saw one. Yeah, it only looked only like it one. only looked like one. I was like, what the heck? But I looked a, at it. Yeah, but I guess, angle. I mean, he it looked like he did actually grab two after watching yeah. the video. And they made him put it back immediately. I was kind of frustrated. I was like, dude, we just got the one. And then guess what we got? An eight. An eight. So, the eight ball. So we got, we, eight ball we got an eight on the worst track probably oh, well. so far this week. Um, unfortunate conditions. Hopefully I get proved wrong, but um, it's not looking good for us. Yeah. Guys, rough pretty sticky so um we'll just see hopefully we can go out there and just salvage a good top five and, and give ourselves a shot we get four yeah. we got it time to head out a main event time here at the elma in elma washington for the grace harbor raceways two night finale of the iscs week of speed goal let's just be consistent top five keep our streak going uh track's gonna be tough to pass on but i think we can take on the challenge and we're ready to go so a main event is up next
a sigh of relief. We actually ran pretty good here at Elma. Eight to fourth in the A. Now, of course, you always want a top three. You want to win and bring home as many checks and trophies as possible during this week. But this feels like a win. I was really nervous on how we were going to do, how the car was going to handle, how the track was going to race. And I was only driving about 75% because I was being really, really careful with how fast it was and how narrow. Super dicey through traffic. Very dangerous at some points. Like, where could have been some big accidents? But everyone was able to hold their lane, drive clean, and we all brought it home in the trailer. Now, I think I could have won this race. I told my mom I could have won the race one if that yellow and it came out. I was fast. I was closing the gap. Traffic. We were awesome. We were gaining spots. And we got to third, but then we lost our spot because the yellow. But I think I could have won that race if I had three backup cars in the trailer and I had a thousand point lead. If I could have drove that hard, I could have won. Definitely off the gate, I took it super, super easy. You might be able to see in the GoPro me lifting very early on the straightaways if cars are dicing, just getting out of the throttle. But um, you got to do what you got to do. Consistency is what wins races and wins championships. So um, another top five for our team. We're really, really excited about it and we're looking good for Speed Week. So one more night to go and we're hoping to get this title. The night is over here at Grace Harbor Raceway for night number five of the ISCS week of speed. We've had a great week so far, man. Top five every single night, three wins, and uh, I know some of you guys might be like, Tanner, why are you points racing, whatever, you know, and uh, I try not let points get to me, and I actually have not all week, but it's something if you are going to run the whole week, you have to keep it in the back of your head because, I mean, it's just about being smart and um, putting yourself in the right spot. And also, when you run Red Bluff for nine years like I have full-time, haven't missed a race, you know what points racing is like, man. That place is so, so tough, and you have to think every single move and keep points in the back of your head, but also not let it get to you. So it's a, t a total combination on how to do both of those. Like I said, tonight, we, of course, if the opportunity to win presented itself, it'll be, I think if we would have had all of our cards fall the right way, we actually would have had a great shot tonight. Um, just the last yellow killed us a little bit, but uh, we wanted to put ourselves in a good spot going into tomorrow. We didn't really have to worry about Speed Week title and whatnot. We were hoping to just have a good enough margin where we could just race hard and go for the win. So we're looking forward to our last night at Grace Harbor Raceway. It's been a great week so far, and we're hoping the track is even a little bit better. I kind of had to eat my words a little because the track wasn't... I didn't think it was going to be as good. I wouldn't necessarily say it was an awesome track. I would say it was good enough to be able to make some passes. So it wasn't too bad. I would rate it like a 4 out of 10, but I think tomorrow is going to have some improvement. The beginning of the night, man, I was really frustrated with how it was, but I think they're starting to figure out the clay little by little. On to Grace Harbor for the final night. Excited to get after it and see you guys all there. Deuces.